connection. Parallel lines. The lines which are coplanar and do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. Line L, line M. Let's pairs of angles formed by two lines and their transversal. In figure, line N is a transversal of line L and line M. Here, in all eight angles are formed. Pairs of angles formed out of these angles are as follows. Pairs of corresponding angles. 1. Angle D and Angle H. 2. Angle A and Angle E. 3. Angle C and Angle G. 4. Angle B and Angle F. Pairs of alternate interior angles. 1. Angle C and Angle E. 2. Angle B and Angle H Pairs of alternate exterior angles 1. Angle D and Angle F 2. Angle A and Angle G Pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal 1. Angle C and Angle H 2. Angle B and Angle E Some important properties 1. When two lines intersect, the pairs of opposite angles formed are congruent. 2. The angles in a linear pair are supplementary. 3. When one pair of corresponding angles is congruent, then all the remaining pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. 4. When one pair of alternate angles is congruent, then all the remaining pairs of alternate angles are congruent. 5. When one pair of interior angles on one side of the transversal is supplementary, then the other pair of interior angles is also supplementary. We have verified the properties of angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines. Let us now prove the properties using Euclid's famous fifth postulate given below. If sum of two interior angles formed on one side of a transversal of two lines is less than two right angles, then the lines produced in that direction intersect each other. Interior Angle Theorem Theorem. If two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, the interior angles on either side of the transversal are supplementary. Given line L parallel line M and line N is their transversal. Hence, as shown in the figure, angle A, angle B are interior angles formed on one side and angle C Angle D are interior angles formed on the other side of the transversal. To prove angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees, angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Proof. Three possibilities arise regarding the sum of measures of angle A and angle B. 1. Angle A plus angle B is less than 180 degrees. 2. Angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 degrees. 3. Angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Let us assume that the possibility 1, angle A plus angle B is less than 180 degrees is true. Then, According to Euclid's postulate, if the line L and line M are produced, will intersect each other on the side of the transversal where angle A and angle B are formed. But line L and line M are parallel lines given. Therefore, angle A plus angle B is less than 180 degrees impossible. 1. Now let us suppose that angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 degrees is true. Therefore, angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 degrees. But angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. And angle C 
प्लस एंगल बी इज इक्वल टू 180 डिग्रीज एंगल्स इन अ लीनियर पेयर्स देयरफॉर एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी प्लस एंगल बी प्लस एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू 180 डिग्रीज प्लस 180 डिग्रीज इज इक्वल टू 360 डिग्रीज देयरफॉर एंगल सी प्लस एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू 360 डिग्रीज माइनस एंगल ए प्लस एंगल बी इफ एंगल ए प्लस एंगल बी इज ग्रेटर देन 180 डिग्रीज देन 360 डिग्रीज माइनस एंगल ए प्लस एंगल बी विल बी लेस देन 180 डिग्रीज देयरफॉर एंगल सी प्लस एंगल डी इज लेस देन 180 डिग्रीज Therefore, in that case, line L and line M produced will intersect each other on the same side of the transversal where angle C and angle D are formed. Therefore, angle C plus angle D is less than 180 degrees is impossible. That is, angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 degrees is impossible. Therefore, the remaining possibility Angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees is true from 1 and 2. Therefore, angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Note that in this proof, because of the contradictions we have denied the possibilities, Angle A plus angle B is more than 180 degrees and angle A plus angle B is less than 180 degrees.